Um, I first discovered Bitcoin in uh, 2010. I heard about it. I thought, nerd money. Sounds funny. And then I ignored it for another six months. And then I rediscovered Bitcoin in 2011. And that time I decided to read the Satoshi paper. Uh, my background is in security and distributed systems. So I wanted to read the actual science behind it and try to understand it from a technical perspective. So I started reading the Satoshi paper. If you haven't read it, um, you should definitely read it. It's nine pages. It's one of the most uh, brilliant pieces of science writing. Uh, every single word in that paper means something. Satoshi was able to predict uh, several things that took years to unfold in Bitcoin, and, uh, and just outlined every aspect of the currency in just nine pages, which is incredible. I mean, it would have taken me a hundred pages to say the same things. So uh, read that paper. Um, when I started reading that paper, uh, a little light bulb went off in my head. Uh, light bulb, supernova-sized light bulb, and uh, and it just completely overwhelmed me because uh, immediately I realized this is not a currency. Uh, it's not a currency. It's a network. It's a platform. It's an invention. And once I realized that, the possibilities just started unfolding in my mind, and I went into a state of fugue that's happened to me four times before in my career. First computer I had, the first internet connection, the first website I visited, the first time I downloaded Linux. All of those were just uh, revelatory experiences for me, and, and they put me in a state of obsession. I wanted to learn everything about these technologies. And, and for a long time, um, you know, during the uh, I guess 98 to 2010 period, I didn't see anything else that really excited me as much. And then Bitcoin just hit me in the face like a sledgehammer. And so I spent the next uh, six months obsessively consuming and writing and coding and reading everything I could about Bitcoin until I lost so much weight that my family staged the mini intervention because uh, <laughs> I had stopped eating from, from the obsession. Yeah, not a healthy way to do it. I have a better balance now. But uh, that's the kind of impact that Bitcoin had on me because it it it. it it was something that aligned my interests and my, uh, my passion for technology uh, with my core principles, uh, social justice and pacifism and ending war, you know, things that obviously are impossible to do, but uh, things that I aspire to. You know? <laughs> and, and so Bitcoin was this perfect combination of, a, of an incredibly disruptive technology that also had within it the ability to empower people. Um, and so uh, that started my journey in Bitcoin. I uh, switched to doing full-time Bitcoin about a year and a half ago. Um, I founded a company that did a few startups to provide various community services, uh, not for profit, but to, to build a community. And I started getting involved in media and trying to use uh, my skills and my expertise to, to, to promote Bitcoin as much as I can. Um, at the moment, I'm going at, to conferences all around the world to talk about Bitcoin. And one of the things I'm doing this year is focusing primarily on the developing world. And I'm going to talk a bit about that and why it's so important. So, uh, Bitcoin isn't money. Uh, money is just the first application on the Bitcoin network. Uh, unfortunately, the Bitcoin network, the Bitcoin system, the Bitcoin invention, and the Bitcoin currency all have the same name, which can be confusing. So, when people first experience this, they think that Bitcoin is a currency because they see the first app. And that's a bit like assuming in 1991 that the internet is an email network. Right? Uh, yes, it is the major killer app. It is one of the things that's going to make Bitcoin succeed. But Bitcoin success doesn't depend on the currency, just like the internet success and the impact it had on the world didn't depend on email. In fact, nowadays email is what my dad uses, right? Uh, and and you know I don't really. I use Twitter instead. But um, so something similar is happening in Bitcoin because currency is just the first application on this platform, on this network. So let's talk a bit about the invention. What did Satoshi Nakamoto achieve uh, with the invention of Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin. Uh, 